Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, once again, some questions from viewers, depending on you know computers and you, what software you use. Sometimes you see things that are kind of um, interesting and wonder about them. One of them is a viewer that was using Zone Alarm, which was um, a popular, and um, I don't see it as much today, but at some point it was very popular, has a firewall software. And, um, of course, he doesn't use it anymore, but he remembers using it and wonders if he should use it again because he saw something that made me wonder, made him wonder if, you know, it was more secure than, say, the Windows um, firewall. And what he saw, and I've seen this so many times, uh, there are some uh, software out there, some um, antivirus mal anti -malware, malware software that contain their own firewall and have rules. And sometimes you'll see pop-up messages like port scan, you know, uh, blocked, and uh, this and that, and which gives you the impression, once again, that your security app is doing a fantastic job at blocking stuff and that, you know, it converts you in knowing that what you have, uh, if you paid for it particularly, is so good. Thing is, is these are, you know, true messages. But the thing is, um, any port in uh, on the internet that should not be open is blocked anyway. So what that does doesn't do it more or better than anything else. It only tells you, and I've often told everybody, you know what, the Windows, the, the security apps that you have, whatever you use, you know, is fine. And when I talk about security and I talk about, you know, Windows security being enough, if you use something else for, because you think it's better, the important thing is that, you know, you, anyways, whatever you use is, is fine. And it doesn't matter whatever you use. But I think it's so much of a marketing thing that, um, you know, let's show to the people, oh, we blocked this, we've done that, and so on. Uh, it's the same like, you know, sometimes it's going to report that, oh, I've seen so many, uh, you know, uh, possible, uh, they call them pups, you know, uh, poss possible unwanted types of, you know, uh software or code or whatever on the, on the PC and half of the time it's cookies and things that that are there and that aren't you know going to cause any harm at one point I always find that these report too much because they kind of put you in a you know more of a um, not a panic mode but you kind of get more scared about going on the internet and doing stuff because it's always reporting there's something, which gives you the impression that, you know, Windows is an open operating system, that viruses come in like... And it's it's part of the reasons why a lot of people have that way of thinking. Um, so I do not recommend that you reinstall Zone Alarm or anything like that because you don't need that. And ports are all close the ones that are important to close are all closed the ones that are important to open because you do need to have access you know to the outside world with the internet uh, in and out are specific ports that are open and you know what whatever software you would use for a in a um, firewall your router is a way better firewall than any of that um, in fact if you are using a router it has a firewall in it and you could actually shut down the firewall in Windows, it would it would not have any problem because the firewall in the router is a million times better. Hardware firewall is always better um, because software firewall can be modified by a, a malware. And remember, when there's a port that is open that's doing something, well, that just means you're already infected because from within, the malware or the virus will open the ports. So, you know, um, don't fall for these, what I will not call fake as they're not fake, but these um, messages that a lot of malware, antivirus, and firewall software try to, you know, make you think that they're doing a fantastic job at always telling you that they block something. 
Um, you don't need to know that because Windows and Windows Security and the firewall in Windows, they all do that, you know, minute by minute, daily, uh, every day, every month. They just don't tell you, which is much better in my uh, opinion than being told all the time about, you know, a possible security breach. And poor scans are happening all the time from everywhere around the world. It's always constant. There's always somebody somewhere searching for open ports to do things. But the correct ports are always closed. It's really looking for open ports by mostly by malware that already infects PCs. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.